In this video, we will show you how to replace the Bilstein B3 air spring on the rear axle of a Mercedes-Benz E-Class S211 with a level control system, without airmatic. Please adhere to the instructions shown in this video. Always replace air springs in pairs. It is imperative to heed the vehicle manufacturer's specifications regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the prescribed tightening torque. When replacing air springs, it is imperative to use the vehicle manufacturer's tools and equipment. Check the association of the new air springs prior to installation. Check expiration date. Take the air spring out of its packaging and ensure it is not twisted or damaged. Read the installation instructions attentively while working and follow the working steps strictly. Measure the length of the Bilstein air spring and compare this to the stated maximum length in the installation instructions. Prior to removal of the air suspension module, vehicle height is measured and recorded from wheel hub center to the bottom edge of the front fender. Attention! This is only possible if the air suspension module is not destroyed. Lift the vehicle using the lifting platform support points specified by the manufacturer. Remove the wheels. Thoroughly check all suspension components for damage. Connect the diagnostic device and establish a connection. Bleed the air spring completely using the diagnostic device. Attention! This is done in multiple steps. Heed the vehicle manufacturer's specifications. Always wear the necessary protective equipment when working on the compressed air system. Carefully loosen the pressure line from the air pressure distributor until you hear the sound of effusing air and wait until the residual pressure has dropped. Then completely remove the pressure line. Completely bleed the air spring using the diagnostic device and seal the pressure line. Switch off the ignition. Always remove the ignition key while working on the air spring. Disconnect the plug connection of the electronic cable on the air spring. Inspect it for damage. Remove the air spring fastening screw from the tie rod. Using an appropriate tool, press the air spring away from the vehicle floor. Carefully loosen the pressure line at the top of the air spring. Fully remove the pressure line and seal it. Make sure not to bend, twist or squeeze the pressure line. Remove the air spring. Replace the attachment clip. The installation of the new air suspension module is analogous to the removal in reverse order. It is imperative to heed the manufacturer's specifications regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the prescribed tightening torque. Attention! Tighten all articulated suspension-relevant screw connections on bearings only in the construction state, KO position. Remove the locking screw from the air spring. Remove the bracket from the center of the cutting ring. Replace the locking screw and the cutting ring on the vehicle's pressure line. Pay attention to the correct alignment of the cutting ring.
Insert the new air spring. Mount the pressure line onto the air spring. Heed the vehicle manufacturer's specifications regarding the prescribed tightening torque. Make sure not to bend, twist or squeeze the pressure line. Connect the electronic cable plug connection to the air spring. Mount the air spring on the transverse control arm. Install the pressure line at the air pressure distributor. Attention! Never lower the vehicle from the lifting platform with a depressurized air suspension module. Connect the diagnostic device and establish a connection. Attention! There are multiple steps to filling the air spring. Fill the air spring according to the specifications of the vehicle manufacturer. Remove the cover of the transverse control arm. Lift the suspension to the initially measured vehicle height, KO position. Using the assembly aid, align the air spring in parallel to the shock absorber. Fasten the mounting nut of the air spring on the transverse control arm. Remove the assembly aid and install the tie rod. Mount the cover of the transverse control arm. Begin the next step of filling using the diagnostic device. Check the pressure line connection for tightness. The leak tightness of the entire system must be guaranteed. Attach the wheels professionally. Lower the vehicle down to the first ground contact of the wheels and then start the engine. Let the engine run for at least two minutes and then lower the vehicle back to the previously measured level or standard series height with the engine running. Fasten screw connections in the bearings that may have loosened during replacement. Heed the vehicle manufacturer's specifications and tightening torques. Always align the axles after working on suspension parts. Bielstein. Drive the legend.